Also, a standard could specify best practices for each product. They may specify how you handle your particular web browsing implementation or how you handle and set up your web browser. It may specify that you must enable cookies. One nice standard to be able to implement is to dictate whether cookies are on or off. When you write applications for the web, it's convenient to use cookies, but sometimes not in the best interest. But if you have a controlled application within an intranet, it's awfully nice to be able to set a standard saying, you must turn your cookies on because it makes our programming life easier. That's just one example of how you might want to use a standard to implement best practices. Compliance is typically mandatory. It's awfully nice, again, to be able to specify standards within your own organization and make the compliance mandatory. You don't have to say that if you use cookies, we will address you this way, and if you don't, we will program around it. You can say you must do it our way. Not only is compliance usually mandatory, but resistance is usually futile. For example, another example would be password expiry. Password expiry would specify that your password will expire every 30 days, for example. You can't get around that. You know that in order to access the system, your password expires every 30 days, and then you have to do something. What do you do in that case? Well, that's a good place for us to move to the next level. 